Hey, it's Justin Popovich here from Tools for Motivation. You can see my business partner, Ted Payne, his picture also on the screen. Today, I'd like to show you a cool example of how you can turn a PLR article into a visually appealing piece of content that you can use to promote your business. So a lot of people think of articles as fairly... Uh, basic pieces of content. Now, if the article is well written, sure, there's value there, but there's always ways to spice up the way in which you deliver the information inside of an article. And this day and age, having uh, visually appealing pieces of content goes a long way, as I'm sure you've seen places like Facebook and Pinterest and Instagram. And even when you're going on blogs, it's good to have uh, nice looking content as well as well written, high value content. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you a process where we're going to start with a single PLR article. Then we're going to go to a website that we love to use to find a freely available image, actually a series of images that we are going to use to illustrate the message in that article. Then we're going to create a slide presentation where we'll merge the article content with the images that we found. And then finally, we will export that piece of content as a PDF. And I'll also show you how you can export it into other formats as well so that you can then publish that piece of content as a way of promoting your business. And you can promote things that you sell, you can promote your blog, you can just promote your name brand, a YouTube channel, it doesn't really matter what you're promoting, but pieces of content like this will help drive traffic to wherever you wanna send people. So let's go through that process right now. So the first step, as I said, is to get a single PLR article. Well, now what I have here, is an article called The Three Benefits of Taking Risks. So this is gonna be the, uh, a risk-taking uh, risk style of uh, presentation slash uh, document that we're gonna create. And the article is just over a page long here. It's 400 words or so. So three quick uh, tips or benefits of um, taking risks. So we're gonna take that content. It's well-written stuff, but we wanna spice it up using visuals. And we're gonna do that, if we go back over here, by getting some freely available images from this site right here, unsplash.com. And if you go to unsplash.com forward slash at tools for motivation forward slash collections, I will have a link somewhere on the page that you're on now. So you can just click through and show up here. Now, what we've done is we've gone to Unsplash and created 84 different collections of these freely available images that you can use in your designs, in your marketing, in your promotions. Uh, you read their license, but it's unbelievable the amount of flexibility you have with these images. And we've put them into a series of collections or categories that help with personal development and self-help style content creation. So, uh, as an example, our article today is about risk-taking. And we so happen to have a collection somewhere down here about uh, risk and risk taking. I want to find it for you so you can see it. Here it is, risk taking and or risk and taking chances. So I'll open that up. You can just see 34 different photos uh, that we've deemed as sort of this category. Uh, and you can go through and browse there. You can also go to unsplash.com and, and search all the images yourself as well. You don't have to use our collection. And all we're gonna do is go and find several images that kind of match the messaging in this article here, three benefits of risk taking. So I won't go through the whole article right now, but here's a quick overview of what it's about. So uh, a quick intro as to why risk taking is important. And then the three benefits are you're, you'll see unexpected opportunities, you'll build self-assurance, and then you'll have an opportunity for personal growth when you become a risk taker. So what I'm gonna do off camera is go and find uh, several images, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm going to merge the text from this article into a slide deck presentation where I can drop the image, paste the text on there, and then in the end have a nice PDF that we can share. So let me start by getting the images and we'll build from there. Okay, so I just downloaded five or six images. I'll just quickly show you them. Uh, this is all directly from Unsplash. There's a button to click download and it saves it as a JPEG file. So here's one, here's another one, somebody walking, somebody outdoors, a keep exploring flag, somebody on the edge of a cliff and so on. So pretty good stuff to start with. Now, I am going to use an application called Keynote, which is a, um, a slideshow builder on the Mac. You can do the exact same thing I'm about to do using PowerPoint as well. And the idea again being combine images with text into a slide presentation that we can export into several formats. So let me start a new slide deck presentation. 
All right, here's a blank slide deck presentation. I'm using a smaller um, layout. You can change the length and width of these. I'm doing it smaller just so you can see everything I'm doing. And I'm going to clear out the defaults here and start by dragging and dropping the first image in here. So let me grab one. We'll just grab any one here. I like this one. We'll put that as the title or as the first page and you can alter the size of it here. Now, all I'm going to do is make a title slide. So if you remember the article, it was called Three Benefits of Taking Risks. So for now, I'll just grab that. You might want to rename the title of this. Again, because it's PLR, it doesn't hurt to switch the wording around. Uh, again, remembering that other people also purchase this PLR. So the more unique you can make it, the better. For this example, I'm just going to do it quickly. So three benefits of taking risks, and I can creatively move that anywhere I want. I kind of like it in the top right corner. Why not? Um, leave it right there. Move it down a bit. Now, there's other things to consider here as well. As you're building uh, this slide presentation, combining images and texts, remember that other people will be reading this as a PDF or possibly other formats. So it doesn't hurt to promote your business in here as well. So what I might want to do here is grab a little shape, maybe put it down in the corner here. I'll make it smaller so it doesn't really ruin the image. And I'll put my web address in there, tools, for okay now uh, I'm going to change that color a little bit make it a little bit more appealing for me and then I would make this clickable so in keynote you can do that you can do it in uh, PowerPoint as well um, there's just a, a the ability to hyperlink any text so I could hyperlink that uh, where is it right here I'm going to link, link that to a web page. Um, so I would just copy it there and I would just link it to toolsformotivation.com. And there we go. We've now got this linkable piece of text on the slide. And then what I would probably do is put that little button, this little orange thing on each slide so that as people read through my document, there's always some kind of promotional text on there. And it doesn't have to just go to my homepage. I might want to promote something that I'm selling or a lead generation page where you're asking people to opt into your list. It could be a great way to promote uh, a list building campaign. Uh, think creatively here. You can drive traffic anywhere you like. So then let's do it again for the next slide. So we'll take, uh, we'll remove this text. We'll take another image from our list here. Just grab this first one. Okay, and then kind of size it so that it fits the screen. And I need a place to fit the text. So under here is good, up here is good. Uh, uh, let's play with it and see what happens here. So the first paragraph is kind of setting the stage here. We've all heard the saying, you've got to break eggs if you want an omelet. Uh, the idea inherent among the reasons why taking risks is so vitally important to achieving success and, and so on. So let me take that first section of text and put it on this slide. Now you can see it's quite a bit of text. I'm probably going to need to split it up a bit. So let me do, let me do this, resize it. And we have more room to work with. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use half of it. So I'm going to copy this section of text and move it. I also need to make this text lighter. You can actually see it. And maybe even add some shadowing so it pops out a bit more. And then paste the rest of the text that we just cut out of that first section to another part of this image here. And like so. And maybe you bold that. I don't know if that helps you see it. And I'd want to play around with this a little bit to make sure that people can actually see the text that you're putting on this slide. Uh, I'm doing this quickly for the purpose of this demo. I'd probably want to spend a bit more time making it look nice. But you, here you can see we've, uh, we've illustrated that first point nicely on this slide. And then I also may want to drag and drop or copy and paste this button that I've created, this promotional button. Again, I wouldn't necessarily use this button in a real example, but I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. And then I would do this a uh, few more times, one for each point in this article, right? So the next slide could be the unexpected opportunities lesson combined with another one of those images that I got from Unsplash. I will do the rest of this um, slide presentation off camera so that I can then come back and show you the final result and then give you a link to click the PDF that I've generated here. And then you can actually copy and, and do the exact same example using your own PLR article.
Okay, so I finished it up and I actually exported it as a PDF here. It's just five pages basically, but it's taking that simple text-based article with some good information and really spicing it up to give it more visual appeal. And it's probably a little bit more shareable online now that it looks like this. Free benefits of taking risks. This is clickable. You can see I, if I click it, it actually opens up my browser, which is great, uh, and goes to whatever I'm promoting. Here's the first point, or this is the intro. Here's the first point, unexpected opportunities, and then write up about that. The second point, it builds self-assurance. And you can see I, I fit it really nicely with that one image there. So it's in the kind of the blue space above. And then finally, the third point is it gives you an opportunity for personal growth. Again, nice mixture here with the free image, each page having one of these buttons linking the, the reader out back to my website or again, whatever page I want to promote. So that's a great example of taking a basic piece of content, freely available images that we've collected for you on Unsplash, just follow our link, and you could create stuff like this all day long. You could outsource this and have one of your, one of your virtual assistants do this on a regular basis. Imagine you took one PLR article per week and did something like this, or one per day. You know, over the course of a month, you'd have 30 of these that you could bundle into one giant ebook, like a visually appealing ebook that you give away for free. Uh, you know, great list builder, or just great uh, piece of content to offer to your blog visitors and so on. You could also uh, take each one of these, especially if you're using PowerPoint, it's really easy to do. You could save the PowerPoint deck as five different images. So now not only do you have a slide deck and a PDF, you have five different images with a URL on them that you can then uh, paste to other platforms. For example, Instagram, you could take just this one slide right here about unexpected opportunities and share that visual piece of content in a visual platform like Instagram uh, promoting your business, right? So there's a lot of stuff you can do here. This is just showing you how to make something more visually appealing and the easiest way to do it again. Start with a PLR article, use some um, free images from Unsplash, go through the tools for motivation collection to do so, and you can copy this exact example. Hope you got some value from this. Let us know if you had any questions.